salvation unto God and to this home and with liberty and justice for all. Can all please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you, Vanessa. Please call the roll. Commissioner Spielberg. Here. Commissioner Vogler. Here. Commissioner Boyd. Here. Uh, Our officer reports and comments. We have no <clears throat> officers with us today. Public comments. Any member of the public wishing to make comments? Seeing none. Uh, fiscal contractual. We only have uh, only the three warrant registers for the day uh, from December 22nd, December 21st, and December uh, 19th. My colleagues in the check over there, sir. Amen. Check out this. I will move to accept the three board registers. I'll second. Motion. All right, we have a motion and a second. Anyone second here? I'm trying to see if the uh, maybe that'll be next week. I'm trying to see if our hundred dollars is going to go on salary board during the meeting. And I'm curious if it's a warrant or should we go out with payroll? Uh, oh, okay. The board of commissioners will note this. Just again, those will come up at salary board. This will come up at um, because we're going to have to do a couple of memorandums with the unions. Right. Um, we authorized uh, one hundred. We're in a great fiscal position right now, um, and we authorized a hundred dollars to go out per employee um, to help them out with their uh, with their holiday dinners, with their uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's hams. I guess probably not Hanukkah ham, um, but um, celebrate kosher cheese. I, I, you know. Um, but that'll, uh, again, that'll be, uh, uh that'll actually be officially ratified the next salary mm -hmm. board meeting and then we'll pass some stuff here in terms of the unions, but I just did want to notice that one out. I just figured to see if it's on the board register. Uh, but we have motion to second. We have further discussion hearing none. Question on the motion. Uh, all in favor, please say by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, Tuesday, December 20th, 2022 minutes. I think my colleagues amended to check those over and take a motion. Bless you. Thank you. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same side motion carries. We have one written communication today. It's a uh, permit modification applica uh, application submittal to the DEP um, from the plant manager of Newcastle Power. Um, which owns and operates the power station in West Pittsburgh. Um, they're just renewing their, uh, or are modifying their uh, operating permit. Um, I'll note, as I always do, the Board of Commissioners does not have authority to green light or red light these types of permits. We're only required to be notified um, that such permits are being applied for uh, in Lawrence County under Pennsylvania law. And so that's all this really is, is notifying us as per law. Um, but I'll take a motion to accept the file correspondence. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Uh, question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. If you flip to the back, you should you each should have a sheet that looks something like this. Mm -hmm. Um if you don't, there you go. I'd be happy to give you mine if, if it's not a you know, but these are our amendments to the budget. Most of them are clerical. Um, so, for example, I, I tried to group them. You can see the squares. That you should consider that to be effectively one amendment. It's one kind of. So, like the first one is the um, election integrity grant. Um, I talked to talk the controller's office for the regulations associated with that grant. The money has to for the expenditures has to come directly out of the grant. We don't flow it to the general fund, and so that's reflected in that first one. It's just we're. Originally, I had a, a revenue line item in the general fund where we would move the election integrity money to. This removes that line item and moves the expenses from the general fund to the election integrity grant, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the opioid funding that we're mm -hmm. using to offset. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same thing. Right. Just get, instead of moving the revenue to the general fund, we're moving the expenses to the opioid fund. Um, the emergency management decrease, that's paid for out of a grant. 
Um, so we were able to uh, remove that from the, uh, the general fund that's just paid for out of our, um, I forget what the exact grant is, it's one of our EMA grants section of the budget. Um, children and youth services, that's just moving some undesignated funding mm -hmm. to a designated funding category. Um, APO administrative, this just creates a budgetary mechanism through which we can flow um, APO admin $100,000 into the general fund. So it's already in the general fund. There's a separate APO administrative fund. Um, this, all that does is the, it allows the money to flow from the APO administrative to the general fund. The budget's it's like a web if you picture it. Um, uh, the this one? Hey, oh, that's the APO administrative. The um, uh, appropriated fund balance, educational allotments, um, that's in there. It put 100000 in if we decide, however much we decide to fund um, for CCDC. So that's going in there for that. And I know we're going to have more discussions on that, but I just want to make sure that that's made it into the budget. Um, this was, we got a request in from Westminster College relating to school of nursing. I just put a number in there. Um, again, I, we'll, we'll determine what the funding amount is, uh, but I know we want to get them something to help out with their nursing program, and we can take that out of the American Rescue Plan. Um, this, I also put some money in for infrastructure projects in the event that we want to do infrastructure projects out of the American Rescue Plan Act fund. Um, that doesn't have an impact on the general fund. I just wanted to include that line item. Uh, the next one is our capital budget for next year. You can see our capital expenses are what we have planned. Um, there are uh, three vehicle purchases. We're looking at two new sheriff's vehicles, one new recycling truck. We have GPOs, tasers, and then we have the second payment for the jail security cameras. Um, there'll likely be an amendment sometime throughout next year relating to some of the our ongoing IT improvements. Um, right now, those are our capital expenses. If we do incur some IT expenses, that fund is fully capitalized, and so we won't have any issues moving some money around out of that capital fund. Um, let's skip that for one second, but I'll come back to it. Um, commissioners, are uh, we received notification about a week ago that our liability insurance is looking to increase more than what I had originally projected. Originally, I had projected um, a 10% increase uh, at, on the advice of P Corp. Um, I increased that to 20%, and that's the, dip, the difference between 10% and 20% is $53,000. So that's included in there. The 911 fund is the bane of my existence. It has been the bane of my existence for at least three budget cycles. This is rewriting the 911 fund. <laughs> Every damn year, it gets me. Um, and then the bottom one is um, uh, our workman's comp dividend. John Saladay contacted, I'll get about two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, mm -hmm. um, the notification that we'd be getting that workman's comp dividend, which actually ended up working out well because it offsets some increases that we saw in the 911 fund. Uh, to turn your attention back to the one that we skipped over, the appropriated fund balance and agricultural development, I reached out to Debbie Kennedy um, yesterday. I was going through and compiling some of these amendments. And I asked her, instead of curiosity, I said, Debbie, how much would it take to clear the shoot in terms of the backlog and ag preservation? Um, what would it take from the county to be able to preserve every farm that we currently have on the um, on the roster? On the waiting on list. The waiting uh, list. Yes. Yes. And it would move the rationale being we've got, I mean, we've got a significant amount of American Rescue Plan Act dollars sitting at 10 billion, not 10 billion total American Rescue, but we've got a nice fund balance um, and we can do some nice things for the nice things in the community. Uh, I know this board in the past has prioritized agricultural preservation. Um, the total amount that Debbie said they would need is $150,000. We already have $35,000 in there for next year. So I wanted to put that, if we get it again, we can take that if you guys don't want to do it. I just want to put it in there for consideration. Um, increasing, taking $115,000 out of our $10 million reserve, um, adding it to ag preservation, and literally preserving every single farm that we have currently in the shoot. We'd be able to match that against the state. State would provide us somewhere from four hundred to five hundred thousand, dollars um, and we'd again be able to get some more farms to preserve. But that's that's the only sort of policy. I, I I'll turn it over to you guys if you guys are, have an interest in doing that. If you don't, I'll turn it over to you for what you want to do there. No, I think we'll just wait on it and, and go from there. It's in there. If we decide we want to do something with it, we will. If not part or all or in full or whatnot, we can we can discuss that at a later time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, any yeah. questions on the amendments? Now, is that the... Uh, the first is the amendments and the second is the passage. Okay. If that's what you're going to ask. Well, Vanessa gave us a 
There's some other amendments up there for this 2022 right. budget. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's been eliminated, correct? With the changes? No. Nothing, I mean, I thought it's about just movement. Yeah, it's, it's all clerical. Okay. Um, the only thing that I thought about eliminating, and I'm going to hold off on until we've had some conversations with the judge, uh, with Judge Motto, um, is we downsized, um, um, well, Curry's was downsized before we came on board uh, in terms of staff capacity. We downsized the moating, moved their judicial aides from four to three. Um, there is a retirement right now out of uh, Russo's office, mm -hmm. and it makes sense at this time to probably downsize that office because if Modi can handle the three, Rick can handle the three. Um, that being said, the only thing that I would have limited is that exactly. I left that in there until we talked to the judge and see things sort out. Um, but yeah, no, nothing, nothing here's a little. If anything, the budget's going up, not down. Um, any budget amendments that you guys wish to offer? Not for me. No. All right. No. We'll make this uh, resolution. Yeah. Oh. We skipped over commissioner reports oh. and comments. Yeah, I'll, I'll tie right back to those two people. <laughs> um, or, or I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, let's run through the let's run through the resolutions, and then we can tie it up at the end. That's that's good to go. Sure. Um okay. 424. 424. Um, I'll take a motion to amend the 2023 Lawrence County budget. Per the um, attached spreadsheet. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogler? Yes. yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, four, this is 425 out of the pen would be 425? Yes. I'm good. I'm good. Because I've got, I've got oh, one. Thank you. Yep. Uh, 425. This actually passes the budget with those amendments. Uh, questions, comments on the budget? <laughs> Hearing none, I'll take a motion on 425. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question on the motion. Best please call the roll. Commissioner Spielberg? Yes. Commissioner Bellberg? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Up next, we have our, uh, our friends from the jail uh, to talk about a uh, potential PCCD grant that we may wish to apply for. Uh, Lisa Ward, I don't know which one of you wishes to uh, approach the bench, but if either one of you is always welcome up. Are you doing that? Oh. Well, I'm coming off. Ready to start time. another year? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Water break. Right. Get your one. No, it's, yeah. Um, what do we have going on? Okay, so it's the PCC grant. Um, it's looking for more of a collaborative effort between CJAB and the SCA. Um, so we already have a meeting set up with Lawrence County Drug and Alcohol to work on um, prioritizing the needs for the county. Um, and it's going to be not just focused on opioids, but all substance use. So um, we're going to expand on that program, adding suboxone and methadone. And also we're going to pri prioritize individual reentry planning for anybody with a substance use disorder, just not opioids. So that's the focus. Um, looking to get over the best down in the county. So in 2019, there were 30. In 2020, there were 38. In 2021, there were 57. This year, so far, as of the 23rd, there were 84. So. Well, in our problem, Joe and I were talking about this today. Our, our, our board's county strategy seems to be just a flood. Um, you know, a, a, a flood the system with, uh, what's the revitalization drug? Narcan. Narcan. Um, obviously, that's not a long-term strategy to actually have effect on bringing those numbers down. Um, so, I, you know, thank you guys for bringing this to us as a, as a potential way to help get those numbers down. I know we're looking at doing some things with our opioids fund too. That, that's that's more than um, just the Narcan, um, just because again, as a strategy, it's it's not working out too well for us. So, I think this is, this is, we don't really have an overarching strategy in solving the opioid epidemic right now. But it, in terms of uh, put together a piecemeal, at least in the short term, hopefully this will this will help out some of the guys on the streets um, not die. Right. So, any other questions, comments? No. no. Take a motion to approve four twenty six. Seven. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Question of motion. Best please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel. Yes. Commissioner Vogler. Yes. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have our final uh, budget amendments for the 2022 budget. Um, and these are clerical in nature. 
Um, so I, I basically just said put them on the budget. I put them on the agenda because um, the drinks the money is going to be shifted. <laughs> this is more of a formality than it is anything. Uh, but the first one, which would be 427, um, I guess it's already been paid. Uh, but it's a transfer. It's 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 a budget amendment for the debt service fund. Our project. Yeah, yep. For the debt service fund, um, and what it does is it, it it creates a budgetary mechanism through which we can pay down that debt. Um, well, it was one, originally one point five million dollar loan. Um, as you can see here, it's it, it was paid down to seven hundred eighty eight thousand five hundred sixty dollars. Um, the board of commissioners authorized. Um, through normal fiscal processes, um, the an early pay down of that loan just to get it off our books to pay down some debt that saves the county one hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars, or one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year in um, in, in uh, repayments. Um, again, we're, we're certainly fortunate to be in a position to be able to pay down debt early. And actually, in doing this, um, we have no more debt that we are able to pay down early. So all the other debt on our books, because Chris, we just, uh, the, the controller and I looked into this, um, all the other debt on our books, none, none of our other debt has early pay down provisions, so we're locked into the amortization schedules unless we decide to refinance, which right now we don't want to do. Um, this is the last of our debt that can be paid down early. So it's, it's uh, I think, certainly a prudent fiscal move um, by, this, uh, by this board. But again, this is just the formality budget transfer that, that they've already paid it, but allows them to pay it. Uh, questions, comments on that? Yeah. I'll take a motion. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Hearing none. Question on the motion. Vest, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele, yes. yes. Commissioner Valkler, yes. Commissioner Boyd, yes. Motion carries. Thank you. And Morgan, this next one. Yep. I thought the resolution was supposed to be attached to the. Um, oh, thing. for the thing. So, yeah. so we don't have to worry so, about this. No, you can skip the next. Gotcha. There, is, there is a not a next one. Yep. Okay, if that makes any sense. Yeah, we've been running this. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, we're dealing with multiple budgets, and so it gets, yeah, there's one's 23, one's 22, right. so it gets a little confusing. No problem at all. A um, couple minor ones here. We have uh, Corner, um, needs some money for Easy Pass, so we're transferring some end of year money um, from his materials and supplies. He has an under agenda to his travel account. And then commissioners uh, were 61 bucks short our cable fund, um, which I figure is probably an appropriate way to end the year paying the cable bill. Uh, so I'll take a motion to uh, to approve those administrative transfers. So second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say sign. Motion carries. No works is on the table. Uh, for reduction of final action. Uh, I'm going to do the announcements and I'll do commissioners' comments and we'll turn it over to public. Um, next commissioner's meeting will be held uh, in 2023, 1st of 2023, Tuesday, January 3rd at 10 a.m. in the commissioner's meeting room. Uh, the annual salary board meeting, which is most likely the only meeting by law that we're required to have, um, yeah. will be held on January 9th, first Monday of the first uh, working Monday of the uh, of the month uh, at 1:30 p.m. in the commissioner's meeting room, and, and hopefully that'll be a short agenda. Um, Vanessa and I are working to pull together those those. Uh, uh, resolutions now. Um, the first meeting, first public meeting of the Lawrence County Opioid Advisory Board uh, will be held January 3rd, 2023 uh, at 12 o'clock noon in this room. And then this courthouse will be closed on Monday, January 2nd in observance of uh, New Year's Day. And on that, I will take it to Commissioner Reports and Comments. I have nothing. Dan, you're on that. Thank you, uh, Chairman Boyd. I have two things try to keep them very brief. Uh, I was able to represent the Board of Commissioners last Thursday in Elwood City Borough for the opening of the new sheets on Fifth Street, Fifth Street and Glen Avenue. And uh, they had a nice crowd. Uh, they made note of the fact that it is now the fourth sheets in uh, Lawrence County. The one in the Shannon Township, one in Union Township the one in Elwood City, and then the one out on 422, somebody told me once that the township line runs right through that sheet. So part of it's in Shenango Township, and part of it's in Slippery Rock Township. I need to check with either That's JR or, or, uh, or uh, Alan just to find out, but I've been told okay. that it, it straddles both, both townships. But anyway, it's the fourth sheets, and uh, glad to see that. 
if you'll indulge me for just a moment on a lighter note, I came across, and it was just coincidental that speaking of coming across things, earlier this morning, Commissioner Boyd and I happened to bump into Mayor Fry upstairs. I came across a newspaper article from 1940, from Newcastle News, talks about the mayor at the time. How does one come across something from 1940? Yeah, that's, his, that's your historical yeah. mindset. I'm always yeah. looking at things like that. I'm always that. looking up old things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, since I'm an old guy, I look up old things. <laughs> but um, back then, the mayor of, of the city had a different area of authority that the mayor no longer has. And that is the mayor served as a court that for various offenses, when people were arrested in the city of Newcastle, they would be brought to the city building, which at the time was down on the corner of Washington Street and East Street, where the PNC parking lot is. That's where the city building was. And they actually, the, the people who were charged were actually brought in front of the mayor and he adjudicated those charges. Now that has of course gone by the wayside, but this story caught my eye. I think it's funny. So if you'll allow me to, to read it. The headline is, Mayor Continues War on Wedding Party Horn Blowers. <laughs> You're already laughing. <laughs> Mayor Charles B. Maine rode the running board. Uh, automobiles right. had what were called running boards. Mm -hmm. They were like little steps on either side of the doors that you could kind of stand on to get right. into the car. They still have those. Do they still have running boards? Yes, they do. On mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. trucks, right? right. Yeah. Anyway, Mayor Charles B. Maine rode the running board of a commandeer, commandeered auto for several miles on Saturday as he ordered its driver to give chase to a large party of Ohio-based wedding horn honkers. And this morning, the driver of the car that he enlisted for the pursuit paid a $25 fine in the city police court because, as the mayor said, quote, he was not as cooperative on the chase as he might have been, unquote. The charge against him was disorderly conduct. The driver, Frank Marr, age 21, of Ridgeway Street, Struthers, Ohio, one of the wedding celebrators, was taken into custody by Mayor Maine on Saturday. The mayor had that authority to bring him into custody and was released late at night on a $100 property bond. Mr. Marr sat in City Hall for some hours waiting for friends to arrange his bond. Police Chief William G. McMullen said some of Marr's friends brought him part of the wedding cake with his evening meal. As goes on. Mr. Marr received a stern lecture from Mayor Maine today, quote, you can go out and tell all wedding parties that they better arrange to have $100 ready for fines in the future if they want to include the noisy horn blowing ceremonies, the mayor told Marr, unquote. And then quote again, mayor said, I've had enough. I could put all kinds of charges against you for you were a real disturbance. You didn't help much and you deliberately delayed the car because you wanted the others to get away. Well, it looks like you're the goat. I thought if you brought those friends in, we'd make other arrangements, but here you are. I think $25 will sting you as much as $100. So it will be $25 or 30 days in the county jail, unquote. The mayor said that he jumped on Mars running board on South Jefferson Street and stayed on it until the party was well out in Union Township along Route 422. Quote, if this keeps up, the city's chief executive warned, I'll get a bride and groom one of these times too, unquote. The mayor made it clear he has no intention of spoiling wedding fun, but he also gave strong indication he has no intention of passing up loud and unnecessary downtown demonstrations. Quote, you couldn't have heard the siren of an ambulance or a fire engine with all that racket on Saturday, the mayor said. So, uh, I thought that might uh we've been jumping on a car in a downtown Newcastle, riding it to Walmart. Yeah, no yes. cell phones. Yes. Right. No cell phones. <laughs> so I gave a copy of this to Mayor Fry just to, there you go. I doubt Mayor oh. Fry ever has ever done anything like yeah. this, but uh, 
how times have changed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But thank absolutely. you for indulging me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. a happy new year to all of you and to everyone in the room and everyone who's listening. So don't celebrate by honking the horn. No, no, no more horn. Right. Right. It reminds me back in the day, you know, when people got married, they would, the wedding party would ride around town honking horns. True. And, and doing that, yes. I hadn't thought of that in many, many years, but it, but it used to happen. They would tie used to happen. tin cans to the mm -hmm. back of the car. Mm -hmm. and those those would make right. a lot of noise. Yeah. So, so that was the, that was the, the ruckus. Mayor Maine did not like the horn blow. No, no. Thank you. I'll just reiterate what Dan said. I don't have anything as amusing as that, so I will just wish everyone uh, a healthy, happy, prosperous New Year. Yes. Any other public comments? Seeing none, we will uh, adjourn the Lawrence County Board of Commissioners for the 2022 year. Very good. Excellent. How's the warden today? And we're good to go. Great, thank you.